Okay, hello folks, good morning and welcome. It's a Friday, uh, welcome again to Waterfills Workshop. Now then, um, well today I was going to do some cutting, um, but unless this rain goes off there isn't much chance of doing that. Um, what it is that I'm going to do, and here's the wood, is at the moment I'm working off uh, Black and Decker. They're okay, they're fine, but the problem is, is they're awkward for move about the workshop as I am. For the simple reason is I can't, I know I keep on about me elf, I'm sorry, but I can't stand up for too long, so a lot of the work I have to do while I'm sitting down. It's one of them things that, uh, unfortunately, I inherited through the job that I used to do um, before I specialised. Plus the fact is, as you can see, we're not on the thin side. <laughs> so, what we're making is I'm making a table. Now, the table will consist of obviously four legs and uh, two bits going round it, but I also want to doubly use it as well. Um, as with most of my things that are on wheels, um, I've got them doing other things as well, which is the only way to do it in a small workshop. And I have got a small workshop. My workshop's only 10 by 8. I've got another one on the other side, which I've got all my wood in and some of my other um, equipment which I've got stored in there because obviously I can't store everything in here and with the lovely British weather I can't always work um, on the inside with my equipment I have to have it on the outside so uh, hopefully I can get the wood cut up today with a little bit of luck and um, then we can start looking at uh, getting things sorted out for putting it together as i say what this is going to be this is going to end up being um a workable unit on wheels with uh brakes on the idea being as i can sit here in the comfort while I, while i'm working on there putting stuff together uh because eventually this bench that I've got in here really I only need a small bit for when I'm doing my electronics. So where I've got me what's names now, which I'll with a little bit of luck I'll turn that round and show you. As you can see I've got some of my clamps there. Right, and uh, what's going to be happening? It's going to end up going from that bench bottom or bench top right off to high change up you see that little white bit there that's got a clamp attached to it it's going to go up to that height hopefully or somewhere near that then is going to house everything that i've actually got on the shelf the reason being why i'm going to alter things and make them into separate shelves is because the shelf that i put up there lack of forethought which I should have known, I should have known better, but I didn't. <laughs> I only put on two brackets, and of course, like what's happening is now, it's dipping down in the middle. There's no point in trying to bring it up and put another one up on the top, because stuff's just stuck up there, and I can't remember what's up there, so I need to get it down and put it in shelves and what have you. Um, so, that's that bit, the shelves are going to go there. And then this bit as I'm making here, I'm eventually going to put all those clamps that are hanging up there and some more up in the rafters here are going to go on the racking. So not only I've got it as a bench, but I've also got it for housing the clamps as well. Because I've already got this one here with my clamps on, which are, which are handy to grab hold of and to put back again which is just a job but uh, i need to get some more storage um everybody says you can't have enough clamps yeah <laughs> but the trouble is i i do get to a point where i can't have enough where i have got enough clamps 
and I've also got four sash clamps which I need to house as well but those I think are probably going to go I don't know um, they're probably going to go down by the compressor down at the bottom by the gate by the door there so that's what we've got coming up those are the two projects that we've got coming up um, immediate ones the ones after that is I've got uh, I've got some more jewellery boxes I want to make but I want to make them differently um, I've got a bit I've got some plywood which I want to use um, but what I want to do hopefully is do some sort of inlay work um, on them which is or could be uh, some uh, copper or brass to go in there and possibly the other things I've seen done which I'm quite fascinated by uh, people have actually done some um, using a router or a, a dremel which I've got the dremel and I've got the small router um, which have actually done a design on it and then welted um, coloured crayons into them and then covered them in um, oh oh good grief yeah this is where the brain goes fuzzy sometimes uh, it's covered them in um, not shellac uh, varnish god I'm getting terrible folks I do apologise uh, and they varnish them and they look very good actually uh, most, uh, most enjoyable to watch so ok this is the first part to say what's going on um, the other bit as well, that those of you that know as I'm on Facebook, uh, I put a little bit of a rant on there, which <laughs> I don't suppose I should have done really. It, it shouldn't bother me, but it does do. Um, I appreciate those of you that are, um, uh, that have subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate it. And uh, these one or two of you that said that... Uh, they enjoy following what I do which believe me it means quite a lot to hear that um, but when you suddenly come and you find out that uh, all of a sudden two have disappeared you know it makes you wonder but somebody came back and told me uh, don't worry about it because that's something that YouTube do well, I'm afraid YouTube I want you to keep your bloody nose out of it just leave things as they are um, it uh, even though people don't comment or don't come and visit the channel it still means a lot to the little YouTubers that are trying to make it into a big YouTube not as I would know what to do with it <laughs> make it into a good one but anyway look I'm ranting again right so that's the end of this first one um, I keep keeping them about 10 minutes for the simple reason is the GoPro any road stops and goes again after 10 minutes uh, they don't do a continuous one. I have got a, a camera which I supposedly trying to get sorted out. I'll be honest, I haven't looked at it since I bought it because I was quite disappointed in it. Um, but hopefully I'll get tang of it and then uh, things might be better in the summer. So, for now, uh, I'm going to have a look down outside, see what it's like and then I'm going to get some kit out and get some wood cut. I'm not going to show you that because you don't want to see that happening. So, bye-bye for now. See you on the next one. Have yourself a good weekend. Bye-bye.